all right guys today I'm gonna make another quick bread it's like a quick bread we used to call it uh, fry bakes my mother used to make this all the time for breakfast it's very quick it's fried it's flour salt baking soda that's it and instead of water I'm going to use the Perrier so what I have here I have two and a quarter cups of flour. I have quarter cup of garbanzo bean flour and two cups of white spelt. I have half a teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of salt. That's it. And I'm going to do this with my fingers. So I have a cup of Perrier here. I'll see how it feels. Because this is not a soft dough. So I'm going to make a well in here and I'm going to Pour the perry. I'm going to mix this with my fingers. See how it feels. This dough is not too soft, but you don't want it too hard. So we're going to knead this in. You can do this with only white spelt. You can do brown spelt and white spelt, but I chose to do this with just a little bit of the garbanzo bean. <laughs> My daughter does not like garbanzo bean flour, but I think it really has this crispy texture like when I did the fried onion rings so we are going to knead this and knead this and um, this has to sit for about half an hour okay so this is good I did not use not quite a cup I would say three quarter cup of the peri so I'm going to knead this this for about three three to five minutes and then we let it sit for half an hour I like the color of this too it has a beautiful color because of the garbanzo garbanzo bean flour I'm gonna knead this and knead this in and then you let it sit for half an hour and then I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so here we have our dough. It's feeling light and spongy. It's been sitting for half an hour. I have, I know this is not as quick as you might think, but it's quick in the sense that it fries very quickly. But you have to let it sit. You absolutely have to let it sit. We're going to do 12 of this. I'm going to cut this in half. This in half this in half this in half I know it seems tiny but it's going to puff up and it's going to be twice the size we have two four six eight Three, five, seven, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So we have sixteen of these. So what I do here, and I have some flour here. So you 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 pick up one of them, and then you do this, or you don't even have to do this. You could just start flattening it out. And I have flour here, so if my hands get too sticky, I could just dip it and continue doing it. So. You do it like that and then you put it down so what I did was you see I have them laid out here I started with this and then I went around because you want it to get a chance to rest again so that when you put it in the oil it's going to puff up 
so let's go to the frying pan and start doing these this oil is really hot and I'm going to put this in here and you're going to see it puffing up and I know people talk a lot about frying why do you fry well the oil is hot and the oil is not the bakes is not absorbing the oil at all this is just a very quick easy you see how this is puffing up and then once you turn it over it's gonna puff up even more so this is on medium high heat See, this is already double tripled in size this is just a very quick way to make some some bakes some fry bakes I know someone had asked for me to do these bakes so I'm doing it I don't remember your name but um, I know you know you know who you are so this is for you and for anyone who wants to try this so this does not take long at all like two minutes on each side and I'm going to continue frying those and then when they're all done I'll show you what it looks like so these are our fry bakes here guys you see how it puffed up it really puffed up and let me open this up you see it's hollow inside you see how this is hollow this is from the bacon soda and the Perrier so I hope you do this this one you know and the what I wanted to tell you is that you have to let this sit again after you flatten it out it's best for you to let it sit again for another five minutes and then the first one that you did you fry this one first else it's not going to puff up but it's up to you you can fry it immediately or you could let it sit again for another five minutes so I hope you try this and um, don't forget to like and subscribe take care bye bye